Alright, uh, hello everyone, Simicraft here, and welcome to Botany Manor. So as I understand this, this is sort of like a chill puzzle sort of game about botany, I guess? Growing plants and the like. I imagine that's the sort of thing that we'll have uh, as puzzle solutions and whatnot. Uh, and yeah, so we'll see. Uh, this just came out, I believe... It was either today or yesterday. And it looked interesting, so I figured, hey, why not check it out live with you all? But, uh, yeah, let's get into this. Uh, I know it says continue. I haven't actually played the game yet. That's just from, like, a little, like, test thing I was doing to make sure all of my settings were correct. So, yeah, let's get into this. Uh, just so everyone knows, we are streaming on... YouTube and Twitch simultaneously, so you can, you know, view on whatever platform you fancy. And yeah, we are trying to get up to 100 Twitch followers if we can get there, then I'll be doing a portal stream where I can't see anything. Which, the, the more I think about that, the more I'm wondering, like, man, perhaps I am regretting this decision. Like, that stream could be really, really bad, but for, for me, I mean, I'm sure it'll be entertaining, but it could be very difficult. But that's the fun of it, yeah? Eighteen ninety. Okay. Uh, turn that volume down slightly. Alright, so, so typical first person, walking around, of course. We're in a greenhouse of some kind, it would seem. Ooh, what have we here? Lady Arabella, we're so happy to have you back at Botany Manor. I hope you had a lovely trip. In your absence, I'm afraid some things in the manor have deteriorated, though I can assure you we tried our best to keep things in order. I hope it doesn't affect your research too much today. Bennett. Oh, well, thank you, Mr. Bennett, or Mrs. Bennett, potentially. Who knows? Maybe Miss Bennett. Uh, glad for the thoughtfulness. Abra Abrella Arabella Green. Botany Manor, Somerset. Forgotten Flora, a herbarium by Arabella Green. Ooh. Dear Arabella Green, thank you once again for submitting your book proposal, Forgotten Flora. Please send this empty herb herbarium back to us once you have completed your research and will be in touch with a potential offer. Sincerely, Mayflower Publishing House. Oh, sweet! I got a book deal. Nice. All right. I guess uh, my proposal has been approved. I just now need to uh, figure out... I got to actually write the book, it would seem, is where we're at. All right, maps. Okay. I don't see any maps. Well, I guess that's where the maps would be. All right, it's, like, completely blank. I see. All right, I see how it is. Tab to close. All right. Sounds nice. Well, let's uh, get out there and uh, start filling it out. One, a fresh start. Okay, one new plant added. All right, we got seeds, seed inventory. What's this? Windmill wart. I want to grow the windmill wart to filter the smoggy air in my conservatory, but I'll need to research its temperature requirements first. I haven't filed in all the right clues for this plant. Clues. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna find clues, it would seem. What have we here? Potting instructions. 1. Place pot on saucer. 2. Add soil to pot. 3. Plant a seed. 4. Water the seed. Yeah. Hopefully this game doesn't uh, isn't too far out of my realms of expertise. I'm not sure I've ever like really successfully uh, planted plants, but we already have pot on saucer. Now we put soil in pots. Now we hold on. We put plant in next. We put the seed in. There we go. And then we water. Oh man, it's growing fast. Okay, I can inspect the seedling. Rotate. Hmm. Looks like a seedling, a seedling, all right. Okay. Guess we'll put that back. Let that grow or something. 
Oh, what's this do? Look, I guess this turns up the... Or down... The pressure. Or, wait, is that... That's Celsius, so is that temperature related? Instead of pressure related? Hopefully I'm not about to get myself killed here. Leaving it on a high pressure and or temperature, that should be fine, right? Surely. The Somerset Gazette, 19th of September, 1890. Somerset falls victim to industrial smog. I can barely see. Horse bus drivers refuse to work in these conditions. Hmm. Well, not to worry, we'll have some non-horse bus drivers. Soon enough. Postcard from Marianne. Okay. Ooh, hello. Dearest Arabella, on my hike, I came across the windmill wart, yeah, windmill wart, a flower that only grows in Sicily. Some locals told me the flower has air purifying qualities, but due to its bespoke temperature requirements, the plant rarely blooms. Maybe the flower could help with it, the smog pollution in your conservatory. Your friend and peer, Marianne. Okay. Good to know. So, I guess that's what that's going to be about. I guess this is keeping track of the... Oh, okay. Right, for a second, I thought my plant died. It did not. I guess right now we're keeping it at 80 degrees C in here, which... I, I'm not... I don't know for certain how exactly the uh, metric system works in terms of temperature, but I'm pretty sure 80 degrees C is approximately the temperature of the sun, more or less. Could be wrong about that, but I doubt it. Okay, I can open the herbarium. Clues. Important clues get added to the herbarium where you can assign them to plants. If you're stuck, tracking clues can help you organize and validate your research. All right. Let's add a clue then. Postcard. So it comes from Sicily. Which likely means... And Sicily is a pretty warm climate, so it probably needs to grow in a pretty warm environment, I would imagine. That seems to... Oh, what have we here? Ideal soil temperatures for Mediterranean wildflowers. What could go better? Okay, so we now know... So it's going to be somewhere between 60 degrees C or 20. That's a pretty big range, I think, especially in the metric system. We need to know... Because we know it's from Sicily, we do not yet know if it is a grassland, a meadow, a coastal, or a volcanic flower, or even a woodland flower. So hopefully we can figure out that information somewhere around here. Let's see. Oh, wildflowers. Windmill wart, a volcanic flower. The checkered lily is a meadow flower. The sword lily is a woodland flower. And the daffodil is a grassland flower. Okay, so we know then windmill wart is a volcanic flower. Which means... If we look here, volcanic flowers in Sicily have an ideal temperature of 60 degrees Celsius. All right. So now we'll just set our boiler here to 60. There we go. And now I'm expecting my plant should thrive. Uh, perhaps I should uh, add some clues. Yes, the temperature chart and the wildflowers and all that together means it needs to grow at 60 degrees Celsius. Pretty sure that's what that's means. Okay. And what are you doing, windmill wart? You just live in there? Have I completed the windmill wart? Can I move on? Is that what's going on now? And I think I know everything there is to know about this plant now. So let's... Oh, sheesh. Okay, never mind. It's still super smoggy in here. Um, I think I need to clear the smog utilizing the plant. Perhaps I need to grow more copies of wind windmill warts. Place pot on saucer. Uh, okay. Yeah, maybe I can grow more copies of it. That that would be useful. Alright, uh, you. Uh, I'm placing you on the table. Okay, because I guess the, uh... The saucer is presumably necessary, like, early on to catch the excess water, but once the excess water has already drained out, I don't suppose we actually would need further saucering. So we'll just grow a whole bunch of these. There we go. And hopefully, as we grow more, we'll get more uh, of the smog dissipating. Or maybe I gotta actually like put them in the boiler or something, or near the boiler. That seems plausible. So, like, if I bring this over here, like, close, like, can I set you down? 
There, right there. You get to live next to the boiler, which maybe will make the temperature more uh, conducive for your thriving. I know, right now I'm just planting plants. One of those traditional uh, verb nouns. We plant plants, we build buildings. But then, then sometimes there are things which aren't like that. You don't run runs. Well, actually, I guess you can say I went for a run. So I guess you do run a run. Huh. You walk a walk. Okay, um... Alright. What's this do? Open heat vent. Oh, that'll actually let the... Okay, that'll let the heat from the boiler actually get out to the rest of the room. And now I bet my plants are gonna be loving life. Hopefully. At 60 degrees Celsius, which should be their ideal temperature. Oh, hold on, hold on. Now, what you do is you put the plant, the plant specifically near the vent. There we go. Uh, hello, Taiga. The sun is a million degrees Fahrenheit, so it's definitely more than 80 degrees Celsius, lol. I mean, you may say that, and, like, science may say that, but have you considered that I am not a man of science? I'm a man of vibes. There we go. I mean, look how fast these plants are growing. You think we're dealing with real science around these parts? How lovely. Oh, and now the smog has cleared. Oh, I got an achievement. Grow the windmill wart. All right, lovely. The windmill wart naturally grows in volcanic soil, which is why it requires a soil temperature of 60 degrees Celsius. The bud contains air purifying qualities, so the flower can filter its environment from dense smog. Nice, nicely done. Alright. I guess now we can probably move on out to greener pastures. And look how pretty this place is. This is a good looking game. Is there any secrets around? Sorry, I'm a gamer. I have to always check the, like, random dead ends and stuff in case they had, I don't know, a skulltula or something there. Oh, I can run. That's always useful to know. Oh, a book. They do hide things in this game. Drawing from nature. Can I open it? Or is it just sitting there and looking cool? Seems like this is a sitting there and looking cool sort of thing. Okay, well. I mean, I'm more of a botanist, less of a drawing from nature sort of person anyway, so I'm not too broken up about that. Okay. Alright, well, moving on. Can't wait to grow more flowers. I guess in theory we could even grow things that are not flowers, but flowers are pretty. They're, they're nice. And sometimes flowers turn into food. That would be nice. Okay, Oh, we got a ladder. I wonder if anyone's allowed to... Oh, hello. I guess that's where we're going. I wonder if this is like that uh, one ladder in the... What is it? It's not like the Church of the Holy Sepulchre or something, and like literally no one is allowed to move it for like literally like a thousand years or something. Anyways. Funny, cute little stuff that humanity tends to do. Silly, silly humans. Botany Manor, home of the Green family. Indeed it is. Okay. What have we here? I'm currently busy researching. Please leave all deliveries in the gatehouse and ring the bell. Arabella. Okay, okay. We got a key. Entrance garden. Lovely. Lovely. Alright. Oh. Anyone gonna open up for me? No? Alright, perhaps this key is utilized elsewhere. We got a traditional key puzzle. It's like a normal video game now. Alright, there we go. Key unlocks the door. Or gate, technically. Classic stuff. Classic stuff. And now look and behold my estates. Tis it not truly glorious? Okay. Oh, orchard. Alright, it is locked. Oh, I have gotten an achievement for shaking a locked door. Typically when games have those sorts of achievements, it's either a really good or really bad sign. Because it either means, oh, look at that cute attention to detail. Wow, they even gave me an achievement for this stupid little thing. Or it means, oh, 
that's what they all they have to give me achievements for? Oh, this thing's gonna be good. Hello, Sparking Sparks. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that'll do that for you. The 1.25 speed, huh? I'm sorry, but I don't exist at 1.25 speed. That's... I, I can sympathize, though. I, I watch most things on, like, times two speed, typically, so... Sometimes it can be a bit disconcerting to watch a stream and it's actually, like, at the speed people actually exist at. I wonder, someone should do, like, a study of, like, watching, like, or listening to double-speeded media. Yeah, what effect that has on the brain, I wonder. Like, it's gotta do something. Like, it might be good. It, it might be detrimental, but who knows? Who can say for sure? Other than the scientists, which of course I'm pleading, I'm pleading with you. Do the research. Okay. Alright, new plants. I guess. What have we got here? Or, we don't have? Alright, that's the seeds inventory, so I guess I- Oh, okay, so I'm going to always have access to that, uh, the wart flower. The windmill wart. Presumably, and then I'll have to use it for puzzle solving later. Oh, that's neat. That is neat. Okay. Alright, is that the flower we need to be making here? I wonder. Maybe, maybe not. I can't quite tell what it is. Oh, hello. Probably worsens attention spans, which would help with understand people who talk super fast. Yeah, probably. Uh, oh, okay. Cop Good Household, July 1890. My dearest Arabella, I hope this letter finds you well. As you set off for London on your important trip, the thought of you in the bustling city, working on your ambitions, both excites and worries me. Time has indeed passed, and yet your determination for your field remains inspiring to me. I never imagined all those years ago that we would be writing to each other in our fifth decade about such endeavors. I look forward to hearing about your progress, and, of course, let me know how I can be of assistance upon your return. Your loving visit, sister, Elizabeth. Well, thank you, Elizabeth. Okay, uh, what is my name again? Arabella, right. Alright. It's not every... We've got a unique character in this game. It's not every game where you're playing as... A woman in her, like, 50s at least. It's neat. Neat stuff. Okay. Um, so I'm not sure I can do much. I mean, I guess I could plant this and then put the seed in. And then that's going to be some windmill wart. But I, mm, I'm not sure that's really helpful in this particular moment in time. Hello. Duck. I'm inspecting the duck. It has passed my inspection. Okay. Hello, door. Two survivors of adversity. 